We are back with your 17 Crime Watch. A local family gutted to learn the tools of their trade had been stolen by thieves. But luckily for them, local businesses are teaming up to help them out. Marco Torres is in studio now with this heartwarming story. Marco. Thanks, Tammy. This is a story about a young local family who had their livelihood stolen. But generosity from other local businesses are here trying to help them get back on their feet. Russell Mitchell is a handyman and a soon-to-be business owner of his own flooring business. He has a family, his wife Gianna Mitchell, and together they have three young daughters. Yeah, so this is my uh, newest daughter, Sequoia um, Mitchell. She was born three weeks ago. Um, then my wife, Gianna Mitchell. Uh, my one-year-old daughter just turned one April 24th, Sayla. And then Sophia, who just turned four. Mitchell says he started doing flooring work and invested over $3,000 into new tools that he says would last him for multiple decades. But it wasn't soon after that they were stolen. It all happened in an instant. When Russell Mitchell left his car, his tools were in there. When he came back, it looked just like this, empty. Locked up, everything was locked. Um, we got home at 8 p.m. that night and I seen my SUV door wide open. Somebody broke into my driver driver's side door with a key, got into it, um, opened up my back door where all my t tools were, were at, um, took all my tools, all the boxes, and that's how I found my SUV that day when I got home. With the tools stolen, all the Mitchell family said they could do was pray and start to save up again to replace what was stolen. However, a local business, Cornerstone General Construction, Inc., had a better idea. A group donation with a local church and Ace Hardware to the Mitchell family. As a small business owner, we know firsthand what it's like to actually have equipment stolen. Um, I mean, we can't function and operate our business without our equipment. So to hear that he lost all of his equipment, our heart really went out to him. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we definitely appreciate it and we could use it in this time and we do appreciate it. If you also want to donate to the Mitchell family, you can do so by finding their GoFundMe link in our story on our webpage. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News.